Reforming that religion wasn't cheap, although we made it as cheap as we could. It's pretty useful if you have a decent head of faith. Like, if you're Catholic, you want to be pious. Same for Orthodox. Um, consider my claim for Lipsuna. It's not right that Chieftain Bertil should sit safely as a usurper in his castle, mocking my dynasty's birthright. Please, my lord, support your loyal vassal by taking up arms if they'll not recognize my claim willingly. I will act only if and when I see any gain from it. Within a year, I'll act on your behalf. Uh, what is it he wants, anyway? Part of uh, Moldavia? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I cannot afford to take more of Moldavia, or else the kingdom could split out from there on succession. In fact, it's a shame that you even have that. You're not my direct vassal, which means I can't offer you independence. Ugh, you're under Duchy of Transylvania. You've taken a step too far, Pius. Did you lose in a war? No, I haven't. I mean, we have lost wars before, but those are more just war warlets, if you will. This is the next in line, I believe. Theo, uh, Theokistos. It would be useful to have a strong hook on him. And then I only need you to die. I don't need to befriend you. If, befri if friendship fails on you, I could try to befriend you and simply murder you. And I could even use those hooks to assist in the murder of you. Hmm, but I've already invested so much into this hook. A flaw of character. Once I depart of this world, my son and heir, bare minimum, will rule in my stead. Unfortunately, rumours of his stone-cold heart have been spreading in my court. Well, he is callous. Uh, makes me wonder if he'll manage to retain my vassal support once I am gone. I don't really see callous as a flaw. But I want to see what happens if we try and tackle his flaws. He's agreed to let me mentor him, even though his enthusiasm is somewhat lacking. I fear his vices are deeply set, but a truly eye-opening experience might make him realize the folly of his ways. Venture into the streets and talk to the poor, own up to a misdeed and make it right again. Give away possessions to those in need might work on generosity, honor, or comp compassion. Let's see if we can become honorable. Yeah, hooks can't be used in fabrication of hooks, sadly. I was looking for secrets here, though, not uh, not hook fabrication. There are many differences between Pavel and myself. One of them is that he is the somewhat sorry state of the Chieftain of Kiev. Perhaps some of the methods we employ in the Chieftain Affair could be used there. A well-funded irrigation project to improve uh, growth there. And some scheme power for it. Yeah, I'm not paying for that, right? I might not always hold Kiev, so I'm not really caring about how up and coming it is. Besides, any development here would spill out to my enemies, not to my own land. That's why I'm focusing development right here in this delicious farmland that I uh, that I moved my capital to. Okay, I'm delighted to see the changes in Chieftain Bear Minimum. While at first he did not think he had done anything wrong, the response he received when rectifying the matter got through to him. I suspect Bear Minimum had never been given that kind of respect before and has not seemed quite so callous since then. He could become fickle, humble, or trust... I don't want any of those. Compassionate? No, no, no! None of these are particularly nice to have in favor of callous, or rather instead of callous. The way I see it, this is diplomatic lifestyle and nothing more. These all sound like uh, things a nice person would do, Jake. You're trying to mold a ruler, not a bum, exactly. In the end, we only did this for ourselves. Okay, brilliant work, Timote. Except it wasn't brilliant. You're pretty terrible at your job. Why do I not have other options for this, I wonder? Because I did bring in... Or rather, I don't think I changed... Uh... Okay, where were they? 
clerical appointment temporal and revocable. They appoint their own realm priest or court chaplain. They can be fired and replaced. But maybe we don't have enough uh, new Slovanskins. I just have too many old ones. Is there a way to get a witch easily? I actually don't know how to get witches. I might have to look into that. Because we're finding a whole lot of no witches right now, unfortunately. Fire him first? No, you'd be able to see the opportunities here. Uh, I lost my thought process there. I'm trying to convert faith within the realm. And I should be doing that on my own lands, because other people can convert their, owns, their own. And I think they are. I'm fairly certain our new Sylvanskan ways are growing. Do you maybe need churches in your lands? I can't even build churches, so it's not worth considering. No new holdings to construct. Well, there's a thought. We've got the barracks. I don't think I changed my fascination. City planning. You can build village center, shrine, prayer hall, and trading outposts. Um, sure, why not? All right, busies. The busies are damn strong. But we're not weak ourselves, and we have the power of money more than the busies do. You know what? I'm going to have to decline these. We're, we're going to way too many feasts. We're getting way too fat. Oh, the patriarch. That is a useful hook to have. Why is that a useful hook to have, you might ask? Because I can invite him to court. He won't accept, except he will accept. Welcome to my court, Kellistos. And by court, I mean prison. Away you go. I'll take this as the consolation prize. Safely locked by chains, and this one I will not chop the head off because you are going to be banished. Could convert you while we're at it. Why the heck not? Hey, you know what? You look pretty good. Aren't oh, you learning? Still, I want that money first. Yoink. 20, um... 20 tyranny for 800 ducats. Not too shabby. And now they can build up a new, uh, new batch of money for me. Good old truth is relative. I don't think money is a great concern for you. Well, we haven't built up... Uh, and I will need to build up at some point. See all these? These need to be filled with other holdings because I'm going to have a hard time holding on to multiple places when we still have poor rules for inheritance. Could host my own feast, but uh, we're, we're getting dangerously retowned here. Nothing special about you. Get out of my face. Yeah, money is always a great concern. I could spend that money in a heartbeat. Abduct an unlanded witch, forcibly recruit them, make them a guardian of your heir and others. You should be able to look out for witches and a character finder. Is that so? Witches, eh? Oh, wow. I had no idea. So I could grab, say, this uh, Polish witch and invite them to my court. They don't want to, of course, but what if they had no choice? I won't abduct you right now, but uh, good to know that's a possibility. Right, we will do that then in order to get the witching flowing. Thank you for that. Diddy, our congestive heart failure, says Yoshibazan, who's closing in on two years, man. I, I can't believe these kinds of numbers. Still doesn't feel all that long ago since I started streaming, but I've been doing this for, what, seven years now? Who's this nobody bum? Well, he's somebody with a lot of claims, that's for sure, but I think we could be a little friendly. So I've almost become friends with who exactly? Ah, right, nobody that important. Befriending the dance. After learning that he would be attending a dance, I decided I would be the perfect occasion to pass by to ensure I get some face-to-face -face time. Uh, he put on a fine show, how impressed I was, and hey, what a good day. We've become friends. And that means he's going to do his job better. Befriend your uh, 
befriend your people here. Although, does friend actually impact any of this? Martial skill, martial skill. Maybe it improves uh, county control. Man, some of these places have terrible control. Do any of mine have low control? Who is this? Keep having people that pop up saying I can imprison them. Oh well, there's a problem. You're old. You're the old ways. Hell, I might succeed. I'll pop. I'll to toss you into jail if I can. You don't seem very important. Ah, she got away. Well, I'm glad she got away and not the other one, the the guy with all the money. Jake, can you become friends with my homeland, Serbia? When will the next Frostpunk livestream be? Uh, probably no one know. I made a lot of fun of Serbia over the over the years, and I destroyed them in this game. There used to be a kingdom of Serbia here. As for Frostpunk, I have no new challenges that I can reasonably think of, so... So I don't have anything there. Skilled tactician's great, although... What good is Marshall for you? I will need to think how to marry you folk, uh, my, uh, marry my children off to breed them some more because bare minimums kids have great traits and we need more of those going. I just don't have uh, a lot of land to give to them anymore and since I'm not conquering new land, don't do that either. Undue influence. Scheme success chance grows and it uh, does need to grow a little bit. There we go. Making it more secret as well. This still isn't enough, right? These hooks are useless if I can't swear fealty. The daughter of the Basilius now. Getting all these strong hooks, but... Uh, you know what? I don't think these hooks are going to do me much good anymore. How about you get back to helping out with this... Uh, with this scheme that I'm currently doing? To try and maximize that chance. A few months more it should be done, and then I try to befriend the guy, although I don't see that going well. Still need to try. I might have to do some tyrannical things down the line to sort out my realm, but I need to be feudal first so I can stop everything just shattering apart like it's currently doing. Yeah, you can set up the most beautifully sorted out uh, duchies here. But it's all for cannot if... Hold on, is that preventing drift? It's not preventing drift. Good. It won't be long before Transylvania is part of uh, Wallachia, the kingdom of. Get that drift in and then get that duchy back in our own hands. You're a friend of mine, so you're doing this job faster. Not a whole lot faster, but... For such a big job as that, I'm happy to have friendship help out. To the obnoxious King Barb and Falk. Peasant rabble, uh, peasant rebel start. Uh, peasant rabble starting a war. Some of them immediately facing uh, some problems. Does that one have the peasant leader? It doesn't appear to. This one does. There he is. Right. Well, time for you to meet a horrible end. And get you captured or something, and then that'll be you. Uh, I guess I'll bring some of my levies, but just a little bit, and then we're going to go and slaughter you. Mm-hmm. Great, I got it. A weak hook on him. This is your signature, is it not? Now, 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 now. That doesn't look good. He hates me. My rank is lower. Fickle, dislike, stubborn. How much would it be to gift the bugger? Swaying is, he, is also quite unlikely to work. Oh, he'd gain a fat lot of opinion if I gifted him, though. Which might help out quite a bit. How long does it take to, uh, to befriend him? Just 1% there, hmm. But I would turn around a lot of that chance with that gift. So I'll actually do that. Can I get more out of that gift, though? If I had the next, uh, the next thing here, and I will in... No, that's for changing focus, damn. Hmm. Okay, let's do everything we can to squeeze this out. Court politics focus here. 
for 22 staggering diplomacy and then I'll send you that gift for 71 opinion boost still won't take that fealty wait I'm at war so he won't dang how about that but hmm The friending suddenly becomes possible, and if nothing else, I might get some opinion bonuses during that. If it fails, I could try to uh, sway him instead. Could always seduce him. Mmm, could. I'm not sure how attractive we are, really. If Barb and Falk were here, I'd ask him. We've maimed the enemy commander, we've captured the bugger. Oh, that is awful prowess. But he is an organizer, and I like organizers. Regardless, though. Oh, but you're the right. You're the right, Faith. No! It happened! We became obese. Health, severe penalty. Right, we need to lose some weight. Bring the scamony. Running, warm baths, maybe even a mildly cathartic substance. I'll find a way to lose some weight. Get on it. You know what, you could just rot in my jail. In fact, if I execute you, uh, I actually gain piety and a touch of dread while we're at it. So why don't we do exactly that? Look at that chonker, Jake. His foes will quiver in fear. Yeah, if they're edible, but we don't have uh, cannibalism going for us just yet. I swear fealty is so close. And that hook is useful. I just need to... Uh, Get a bit of opinion, or become his friend, or something like that. I was thinking about offering the wardship. Like, could I offer him my daughter or something? The Basilius will gain opinion, plus uh, five per month. That could actually do it. Guardian of my relative. Uh, could I give him some useless relative that we don't care about, though? Offer guardianship of... The Vlad Dynasty. This this drop down is broken. What? Even if I check for oh well no they are Vlad House cousin wife da 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 da. Wrong option, Jake. She was a go. Oh right, we would be the guardian. I was meant to uh, offer ward, right? Who's the least promising looking one? Hey, you! You're the arbitrary, craven, lazy one, but you do have hail and stuff. I'll give you that. How about it? He'll move there, he'll stay at the court, but I will get that opinion boost. Excellent. It'll take a few months, but it might be enough to get the fealty. I had about the same, same five rulers all get a beast and uh, each lived 20 years trying to lose weight and not lose it. There was a bug, I was told, that stopped uh, losing weight from doing anything. Come on. Looks like you get half of the opinion as a bonus here, so I don't even think I'll need friendship, but you can get events uh, that will boost opinion from the friendship thing, so I'm going for that anyway. Now, becoming a subject to the Byzantines is not really what I want to do in the long term. We need to find a way out of that. They are much stronger than us, but it's such a better way to become feudal. I also think becoming feudal is going to weaken me a lot. I get a lot of money and uh, levies based on my level of fame, which is not something we'll be having trouble with. So it will weaken us in the short term, but longer term we'll have access to a lot more. You know, being tribal sticks you to only tribal innovations. That's not good for us. At all. See, he's at 60. So if I want to fealty... Eh, one more month. A grand affair. I'm already chublix. I have to pass on that. Uh, I'll hold off anything risky until I get this. Swear fealty. There we go. It sucks to be your vassal, but... Let's do it anyway. How's process on uh, progress on reforming the religion? Oh, we did it. 
Okay, my liege, this is disgusting. Truly disgusting. We gotta fix some things here. Uh, what we can do now, however, is adopt feudal ways through the liege. All your governments become feudal, all tribal holdings become castle holdings, uh, all my tribal vassals become feudal. Wonderful. It's a shame if I capture any more tribal stuff down the line, but we will do this. The old ways served us well, we'll always honour them. As a despot of Wallachia, I've concluded we must adopt feudalism. It is a crucial step on our road to greatness. Greatness is such an overused term. Feudal, tribal, long live Wallachia. Wow, my military strength actually went up. I suspect that's going to go down after a few ticks. But I dare not give the game any ticks. I need to review the situation. For example... Whoa, they did change! We got a, a decent leveled castle, and look at that. Tents, stone things, earthworks, levying grounds, and duchy buildings available. I like that. I like not having to pay for that. Not that this is our land, I developed it a lot, but uh, this is going to be our main place now. I want more holdings here, but I can't do this until we have what? City planning, city planning, and uh, really? We need a city and a temple before we can have more castles? I guess that's fine. In the end I'll have four castles here, which will be good for almost anybody's domain limit. Right. I should probably still try to offend the chap so he invites me into uh, good things, but I must modify that feudal contract because I must have religious rights protected. Um, if you're going to do that, you certainly want council rights as well, and a hook alone can't get that, uh, so I don't mind giving him a tiny bit more taxes because I barely pay him due to not rightful liege. I could give him high levies, but you can't make more than three changes. So this is a fantastic deal for me. The liege cannot demand conversion, and he cannot use convert uh, faith and county in my lands. So we will be protected, despite his horrific orthodox ways. I guess we're also offered the protection of the Byzantine Empire, but I don't need that. My only other thing would be if he somehow has high authority to prevent us from war, but I don't think he even has the innovation for that. Regardless, it's worth checking. Oh, look at that. He has autonomous vassals. We can do whatever the heck we want. Good. This is why I wanted that hook before this. Without the hook, I could only do uh, one of these, and I definitely want both. No, 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 not the levies. The taxes, because that money is nothing. In fact, what I can do now is go, by the way, I demand a council position, and I can have whatever position I want. Scheme power is amazing. Tax is amazing. Building construction cost. Amazing. Prestige. Uh, these are all amazing. This is why it's really good to be uh, subject. I mean, this is the, the ultimate way in my view question is, which is most important to me, how much scheming do I plan on doing within the Byzantine Empire? Hmm, there's something for piety too. Well, I can't be on his um, I can't be his court priest or whatever. We should probably ask for a spy master so he can scheme without fear. Uh, that is a consideration. But the thing is, what schemes am I looking to do? Also, is that in general or what? Hostile scheme power is just straight up better. Natural dread is nice. Chance, intrigue lifestyle. The lifestyle experience is a good thing as well, and I'm working on diplomatic. Fellow vassal opinion plus 20. Uh, of course, I will almost instantly want to uh, start an independence faction and hope that somebody else wants to join me. How are your vassals feeling? Many, many dissatisfied vassals. So I should see if anybody wants to try and become independent with me and actually fight for it. Of course, I've got my own problems to deal with. Hmm. It's really hard to think of something other than the Spymaster position for. It's just so damn good. I don't need all that prestige, as far as I can tell, although the men-at-arms would be very useful for the upcoming war. Oh yeah, god, that would pay for so many men-at-arms. 
I could fight with impunity. But I don't really need to fight so much, do I? Well, I need to fight against him, but then I would become... Um... You're not tribal, Jake. Excellent point. I actually have to pay for them with cash money, don't I? Which means being a steward would be great. Think of all the money I can amass as a steward. Yeah, but think of all the money I can amass as a spy master. Let's just... Oh... The guy there, who's currently there, can't be fired. Oh. Oh dear, I can't actually uh, take any of these. It's going to be pretty hard to kill you, I think. I mean, he's on his way out as it is, but... Uh, hmm... Not a given. Why can't they be fired? They almost certainly have um, the rights themselves. Oh, damn. Hmm. I don't like that. Well, obviously I don't like that. Um, given that we're a beast in 48, I wonder if it's worth investing in this. You'll have to build a metric ton of buildings after adopting feudalism in order to build holdings and upgrades, so stewardship might be a good... Do I, though? Uh, all of our tribal holdings have already changed over to castle holdings, so it's not like I have a ton to build here. My subjects have plenty to build, no doubt about that. But as for me, what do I even have to build? I already get my castles, and the only place I'm really interested in building up is here. My vassals can build their own stuff. It's not like I demand all their money all the time. I think it's murder time. I would quite like the stewardship uh, role, but I'd also love the other one. Depends which one's easier to get. So if I look at the council of my liege and I go to you, how do I murderize you? Mm, relatively easily. We'll give it a go. And just a little bit of bribery to make the gears go round. And I suppose becoming friends with our overlord would be pretty good as well. It's actually looking not too shabby. 70% chance. Once we do that... Oh man, all those uh, factions disintegrating after we made this change. Excellent. Something else to consider are the feudal contracts that I can give out. Where's the coinage right one though? I really want to build up the... Where is it? I really want to build up development a lot, and that's easier now that we're not tribal. If I develop if I develop this one up, it'll bleed out to the rest of the country as well it should. Alright, great. It's murder time. It's always murder time. Also time for some more uh, getting high in the cupboard. Since witching is uh, legal here. Ah, oh, man, no, no special things happening from that. Right. Let's spread that Slovianskin, and it is spreading. I don't like the fact that it's all crossed over with Orthodox, but that's how it goes. Help me out in general there, Sunshine. Yeah, I do like the term Sunshine. I wonder if people think it's being nice, but it really is looking down on someone. If you call someone Sunshine, you're... Uh, you're degrading them. But they often don't realize. They think it just sounds nice. Oh, happy, cheery sunshine. How nice of this guy. Often like to say it if somebody makes a mistake. Ah, oh, Like clockwork. I can't do anything without it being discovered. I don't know how we keep mucking this stuff up. But we do. Ooh, you're not worth 71 to kill. But you're the only person that would really say yes to this. What a shame. Cities have a building that gives monthly development, which is great. Yeah, well, I will be building up Fecher. There's a reason we made it our um, our main place here. But more expansion is still off the cards, right? I need to sort out... Oh, Criven's Crown Authority is at one? That can't be right. We need to up those laws considerably. High Crown Authority would be nice since my vassals will stop killing each other, but I'm going to need Royal Prerogative. And that is an early medieval thing. Oh, it's not yet reached us, but it will. 
The blacks have reached the city. Yeah, well, good on us. I want that city planning, though. The lure of language ruling the multicultural despot of Wallachia comes with its own set of challenges. Foreign subjects often feel alienated when they cannot speak their native tongue in court, breeding resent you again. This guy's been nothing but trouble. How did we become friendly? In any case, my friend suggests that I could significantly improve my relations with my Avar subjects by learning to speak their language alongside my own. <sighs> Learning challenge, eh? But I could get uh, diplomacy lifestyle. <laughs> Vlach is clearly superior. Right, um, my trouble and strife, help me with my learning, please. And I will also pay to help out, because, well, lifestyle is good, in short. Befriending the dance. Oh, this is hopeless. I was unable to uh, befriend my liege. It's all right, it happens. That gift we gave him worked wonders for uh, being able to adopt feudalism, though. Right. Is there already an independence faction against our liege? Populists, populists, populists could create an independence faction. But I think I'd rather knuckle down on my own realm first. Once we're a bit more monoculture, then I'll be a bit happier with that. Also, I should strike him in a moment of weakness, and he's not particularly weak. All right, I'm happy with this. This has gone a lot smoother than I could have uh, could have hoped. Oh, Countess, the agent has been locked up. Curse his spy master. That's what you get when you involve too many people. Uh, it's not looking likely anymore. Well, lucky you. Lucky, lucky you. I wonder if that counts as attempted murder then. Well, I'd love to know when I can demand a council position, but all of these are taken, taken well. I could, I suppose, try to kill somebody else, like you. There's always murder to be committed. And the Spymaster has too much defense, and I'm not really interested in the martial one. If it counts, it'll show up under your secrets. I'll look into that after I work on the murderizing of you. No, only my murder. I've done nothing wrong. Apart from I'll kill all those kids, but I mean, come on, is that really wrong? If it's wrong, I don't want to be right. Okay, Hadamir, you are a colossal disappointment to me. Somehow, you're an insightful thinker. <laughs> Sadly, both skills and dedication seem to be lacking. But, he did become a wise man, which is virtuous under our religion. So, good for you, I guess. Let's call a hunt to... Uh... Well, actually, these hunts are getting a little expensive. I don't need the prestige right now, so I will hold off on, uh, on that. I don't need to know when that's available anymore. Same with the feasts. We've got to lay off the feasts for now. Right, so what is happening now? Religion gets changed within here. L incomprehensible. Come on, we got to keep trying. I know it's stressful, but get to it. Not that I've put that much effort into learning uh, my host country's language. Now... My children are largely unmarried, aren't they? Well, of course, you've married, and despite your personal challenges, you have been able to put out chill. Ooh, man. Beautiful, come well, handsome, comely, and comely, and fasund. And they're just children, so they don't, uh, they don't consider their sexualities just yet. A couple of daughters, a grandson. This is quite good because it's just expanding the amount of living members we have. We're up to 58 already. I love the potential explosive growth from it all. And yeah, there we go. Grandson's next in line. 
Man, it's not like you're all that bad. In fact, you're pretty good as a character. It's just you're not going to reign for very long because once I drop that weight, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to live forever here, frankly. I should be investing more in the grandson. Sadly, kind of a little lack. Can I murder my grandson? Ooh. If you pop out a better grandson, I'll consider that. But please do keep popping them out. There's a reason you're fasund. I needed that. Shame it caps at plus two renown, oh, does it? Still, renown is extremely useful. Um, one king, that's me. One count by marriage. So one of the things we set up here must have dissolved. Old Slovianskin. We need that Slovianskin spreading. Ah, excellent. Oh, but I'm not about to bring in the Avar culture here. Oh, heavens no. Time well spent. We'll enjoy the experience. And... What was I wanting? A groomed to rule would be really nice. Opinion gained from scent gift. I mean, what am I trying to do here? All of my children being that much more skilled would be real nice. There is something to be said for... Hmm, going down to family council and then moving over to Hall of Body to try and live forever. Because there's very promising things coming out of... Uh, sadly, not bare minimum here. I look at his face and I think it's bare minimum, but it's not. It's Barb and Falk. Still, Groom to Rule is a nice instant bonus for all those kiddos, so let's get it. Because it's somehow... What do we have? Three Martial, two Learning, two Intrigue, three Diplo, two Diplo, two Diplo, three Intrigue. That's a lot of points to get for one choice, sadly. Won't be playing as many or potentially any of them. The memories remain. Another Dragos bites the dust. Bring on that stress, but we're not all that stressed ourselves. Need a new Spy Master? I've got a good guest for it. Bare minimum's half decent. But I'll bring on the guest because I seem to be having significant trouble spying. And I think I will demand your conversion, of course, so we can be better friends. And look at that, don't even need to befriend you, but I think I will. Friends are good. It's funny that it's called a befriend scheme. I mean, who sees people in real life and thinks, hmm, I must do what I can to become this person's friend? Well, actually, maybe that's how it normally happens. I usually just piss people off until they stick around long enough. One of my really good friends, I remember meeting him first time. I get together with some mutual friends. And it's saying goodbye, and he's like, oh yeah, this is my name. And I'm like, I'm not going to remember your name. And then off I walked. And we both remember that moment very well. I think he tries to hold it against me, but it's just not possible. Right, this is my spy master. Known reveler just like me. I think we'd have a very good time if we were to arrange a small bout of merrymaking. Oh, Oh god, I'm gonna get fatter. Look at the bulges coming out. This is not... This is no heckin' chonker. This is a morbidly obese man. And he's only 49. You gotta work that off. But <laughs> losing so much stress, not a bad way to spend some time. <sighs> Jake would tell us what one of his mates that was, but he still doesn't remember. <laughs> I remember him good and well. I just make a habit of not talking much about my personal life. God, the size that I made the Byzantine Empire grow disgusts me ever so. On the plus side, Sloviansken continues to propagate here. I'm still propagating it myself, right? Yes, 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 yes. Good. What does the game recommend here? Children lacking guardians? I mean, sure, but... I'd rather the grandkids got the guardians. Heterosexual. Now, how, where did I go so wrong? Right. 
How old are you? You're 17. I don't need to marry you off just yet, but you have excellent traits. So what I want to do is find you somebody and land you. I don't mind giving away my own land, frankly, as long as I still have Fecher. It'll be all good, because I'll have city planning in 27 years, and then I'm just going to build that up as my main port of call, and all this stuff, well, everything else can be given away. So, what I want to do is marry you, land you, so you have a lot more babies for me to deal with. Who was that again? My daughter, Adam Whitelaw. Let's find you a fertile person with inheritable traits that mesh well with your robust prettiness. Hello, Jake, that's one chonky Wallachia. Yeah, chonk is something that's happening quite a bit in this poor Wallachia. When I go for multi-traits, I think that's when we start coming to uh, people that are a little bit related. They are related. There's a risk of the children being inbred, but there's a high chance of, uh, of children coming out of that. Lots of children with lots of traits. That's what I'm seeing. But the child is a bit young. That's my problem. I want them to be making babies immediately. As long as the, ma the marriage is um, matrilineal, it doesn't really matter who we're, who we're finding here. Poor hunchback. Never met a hunchback, but I feel for them. Ooh, 51 is a bit too old. And this isn't a giveaway here. Ah, look at this Russian taltocism individual. 41, and I want that genius trait. We haven't seen enough of it. Adam Whitelaw suffers, but too bad. Make it matrilineal. And then, uh, excellent. Now that you're here, oh! Crummy opinion won't accept it. Well, 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 well. Lucky you. You get some land, but then I'm going to, uh, I will demand that of you. Yeah, I'll just give them some crappy land over there. He likes me, but he's also hostile. May accept. Hmm. 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 If I got a hook on him, that would change things. I can do that once I'm done with my little bit of murdering over there. Who was the other kid that wanted to marry, though? Oh god, the craven one. He is wise and he's handsome. Um, and he's my son. He's due to inherit something, right? Look at the succession. Lots lost in succession, but that's how it is. Haramir, you want to take this little nugget here in Barlad. That is mine. That's for certain. So I'll do exactly that. i got no problem with it. Um... Again, you are handsome, so who are we going to have for you? Somebody of the old Slovanskin, but I don't want zealots. Zealots are hard to convert. I don't want more bleeding going on. We had enough of that. There's a seven-year-old. An alliance snagging with uh, somewhere I don't know or care about sounds like a bad idea. We're not looking for alliances here. I'm looking for... Looking for traits. Always looking for traits. What in God's name is that? Some unreformed weirdo faith. Hmm. The thing is, um, intelligence is something that we don't have a lot of around here, which is a bit disappointing. 35 is not hitting the wall just yet, so I wouldn't mind plopping you down there. And since she's cynical, she'll likely uh, convert. So I think we will get this quick Russian for you. Yeah, I know it hurts prestige, but when does it not? How does a six-year-old get lover's box? Well, it's inheritable, right? I don't know much about lover's box. I don't know much about diseases and health or even basic biology. Who, who was it that we just grabbed? Haramir, you're the one I want to care about, because I need to pluck you down with that crummy title and tell you 
get to work expanding the family, please. As for you, can I not tell you to convert? That doesn't look like I can. Well, I guess your your wrong religion isn't too much of an issue. Lovers pox is herpes. Um, I don't know what herpes is. Did I create an alliance? If I did, I did without realizing. Kiev, Thames, Sorosa? Nah, it's all inside here. A terrible misunderstanding trying to befriend my spy master sounds dangerous. She thinks I'm trying to kill her. A bit of extra dread isn't too bad, though. But the scheme power is already through the roof. Now nah, let's just take the, uh... Just take the dread. I find that lover's pox needs to be treated before it spreads out of control. The best medicine is, of course, fire. Herpes is judgment of God upon fornicators and harlots. Oh, there we go. Learning all sorts of new things around here. Okay, I've almost murdered this guy. Well, actually, it doesn't look likely to succeed, does it? A little bit of uh, greasing the right palms, though might make it far more likely to work and then that position on the council is as good as mine and then I shall abuse my position of power to get the ultimate power independence it's like that musical Nyx showed me was this even the position I want? maybe I could actually get uh, get one of the positions by now no, no, no and no, what a shame murder my way to the top then all the woods can be such a dangerous place for you, my friend. Hmm, finally dead. Conveniently, most of the bandits were also slain in the fighting. The dead do not speak. No one will ever know of my involvement. So I think it's high time that I got that position. Which one did I even go for? Chancellor. Well, the diplomacy experience will be pretty good for me. So let's grab it. Can't be fired. And that's what's stopping me from firing the other people. So this, this guy's given out that hook to too many people. I actually have to fight for it now. Still, there we go. Tons of prestige, which I don't even know how to spend at this point. The fellow vassal opinion might help them join my liberty... F uh, well, my independence faction, though. Diplomacy lifestyle is nice. Well, let's get going with it. I don't want to be under Byzantine foot any longer than necessary. Let's create an independence faction. da 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 da, -da. All faction members become independent. The liege loses prestige if it succeeds. Uh, can I add anybody? Nobody can be forced to join, but there are a lot of people that might consider it. You'd need a strong hook. Okay, a weak one doesn't cut the mustard. What I should do then is find the strongest ones and lightly convince them to join. Like you. Wait, wasn't I just about to fabricate a hook on somebody? I think it was you, because I don't like your religion. I like your prowess. Holy moly, I grabbed a good guy here. I want that. I want this guy serving me out of the goodness of his heart. How is he so prowess? Base, brave, hunter, leader, chivalry. Okay, please, for the love of God. Penetrate Adam Whitelaw. Over and over again, I need a lot of babies with that genius, robust, pretty everything you have. Except for the religion, of course. I need to tell. My secrets are uncomfortable burdens I can never put down, but if I just shared them with someone, it might be lighter to carry. I feel certain that Count Bevel wouldn't understand me. He's going to learn of my murder secret. The question is, which one? He loves me. He's my fur. He's not my friend. Maybe, maybe I should befriend him so he doesn't go babbling. But if he goes drinking, he might go babbling anyway. A Night to Forget. By Rod, this party is boring. Can you stop going to parties, Chublix, here? We got weight to shed. Alright, Uncle Zess is getting on. Oh god, man. Little people really do not age well, do they? Age like bananas and milk. Or banana milk. The best way to keep a murder secret is to make another murder secret. Oh god, no. Pavel has helped us out, right? 
I can't betray that kind of trust, even if he might betray me. Anyway, we're going around the room looking for any diversion. Zess gives me a wave. And then, uh, my, uh, this Chancellor here is staring daggers. Quietly slink away. No, I've got to tell them this party sucks. <laughs> At least everybody else will see it that way. Oh man, I'm trying to think of boring parties I've been to, and uh, one one does come to mind immediately. It must suck to be a boring host. You can avoid it all by barely being a host at all. Oh wow, Elkhorn shines where his siblings do not. What is it with uh, intrigue being so common? Maybe he learnt all my secrets. In any case, despite your uh, soon-to-be spouse being barren, perhaps you can find a way to overcome that. God, I hope you don't pass on more barren, though. That's the last thing we need in the family. We can negotiate alliances. Prince Bear Minimum of Wallachia. Well, you barely hold anything worth uh, considering. Haramir also doesn't really have anything worth considering, so I don't see any good reason to ally with them. Could create some titles, but I'd rather do that for uh, somebody that needs prestige, and we currently do not. Uh, the money looks alright. Unraised men-at-arms aren't costing us too much of an arm and a leg, so given all the dosh we have, I'd quite like to raise larger ones. The unraised maintenance isn't that bad, but it does go up. There's nothing stopping me just raising these later on rather than doing it now, especially when it comes closer to my independence. Too weak. Nobody's wanted to join me. Okay, I need to make some strong hooks with others to uh, to do this. If we join, it'll weaken him in my moment of triumph. Old Jake would kill him. Look, current Jake already killed a man that had 3,000 ducats to give me. That was such a mistake, and I'm still reeling from it. Uh, what is this? Basilius is being attacked by Zelda. Why? Please tell me it's not for my land. Conquest of High Chieftain of Mazovia. Why, that's my land! You can't just take my land. I wonder if uh, Byzantium will actually do anything about it. I don't trust him to do anything about it, so I'm going to go and tenderize them. Question, can you raise an army adjacent to another army? Because I see a way that this could be used as a devilish trap. Where are you marching to? You're marching to there, right? If I go here, and the moment you're locked in, I raise my men-at-arms, I will kill you. Let's see, it's forest, so that'll yeah, be fine. Okay, I'll wait till you get locked in there. Nah, there you are. Raise the army, and what do we have? Reckless logis logistician. Well, it's not rough terrain. I don't think I have a forest fighter here, so we'll just... Uh... Holy Warrior is good, though. Faith, hostility, advantage, and they are... A hostile faith. Well, let's enjoy that. Come get some! Oh, gathering armies, a minus five. Did not realize. I should have cancelled it at the last moment to lose that, but... Ever learning, ever the Ronso. Clinical. Absolutely clinical. A bit of extra piety, and we've actually become a paragon of virtue. Are there any decisions relating to that? No, I'd have to... Uh... Wait, you control one or more of this? Oh, you have to hold it directly and be a religious icon. I definitely want that 500 renown. Is this something you can only do once, or once per lifetime? The difference is important. This man is filthy rich. WTF? You mean, uh, you mean us right now? Hell yes, we're filthy rich. Not to mention filthy. Alright, let's go and uh, win this war for our glorious liege. We also took a prisoner or two. No, we didn't. No, just looked like we did. 
once, but you get a perk for it as well. Yeah, but it looks like only the person that does it gets a perk for it, which is a bit of a shame. Besieger, Despotate of Wallachia. Sounds like me. But it gives your kids and so on a perk. That's like half the one... Hmm? So will all of my line get that perk or just me? Brilliant work. Oh man, I'm loving the conversions here. Keep it going. Keep it coming. But there is yet more to be converted. I should probably convert this guy. He probably won't convert the land for me. Well, yeah. Convert the lands that are near me first and foremost. Ah, almost done with the de your drift. Love the year drift. Uh, I should be able to ki uh, help along my befriending of my spy master with a gift. She doesn't need a gift. Don't want to come on too strong here. I'm not trying to bed the lassie. Also, I certainly do not need all my levies here. Get uh, get rid of them. Not your line. Just uh, not just your line. Your entire house. Ooh. Will you continue to get it afterwards? A vassal's become feudal. Count Timothy has given up his tribal way. Didn't you become tribal when I converted? That's suspicious. Let's check government. Why do I have tribal vassals? Or is it because my vassals have tribal vassals? It's probably that. But at least they can all get it through liege now. I assume. We don't, we don't need anything anything like this. Let's just gain that progress and become friends with our spy master. What's my spy master up to these days? Helping schemes? Well, I could do with that because my schemes have a certain way of uh, being known to all for some reason. What do you mean they're hostile armies? It's just these losers. How much do I need to besiege this? 400. I can do 400. There's your crummy 400. And here's my patrician gonna kill you stack. Always trying to build up, but try as you might, you're still gonna die. Try and make some savings here. Prince Zess goes down. Whew, I love when vassals randomly inherit and conquer land not connected like that random Kiev. No, no, we went out of our way to get Kiev. We had to because it's a holy site for us. We needed at least three holy sites to reform our religion. And whilst I was originally going to go for Kiev, Kiev had a sudden case of Sweden. Ah, oh, jeez, Sweden.